Thomas! Thomas! What is it? Last night there was a real party down at the docks. All mess of people ended up with their throats cut. They got the hunchback. Well, with the hunchbacks, I remember the Marseillaise clad at me. Yeah, but before he died, he said that the Marseillaise is here in Italy. Uh oh. Solo Anabella le può offrire una gamma così varia di pellicce in tutte le taglie. Vuol provarla, per favore, signorina? Certo. Mi piace, la prendo. che sacrifici a correre appresso dalla mattina alla sera quei delinquenti alla mia età diceva eh diceva. no dicevo che forse stasera non mangio alla mensa allora se proprio farà piacere sempre che non manchino agli altri si intende me lo può lasciare un bel piatto di fagioli ma senza gotiche eh, perché so pesanti solo fagioli e gotiche ve mangio a parte <ride> Prendo questo. Me ne piacciono davvero le favole? Adesso sto leggendone una dove la principessa viene trucidata dal bandito. Ma allora non è una favola. Quello è un racconto dell'orrore. Eh già. E che succede al bandito? Mm, non lo so. Ancora non ho finito. Mm? Quanto è? 1200, signore. the advice of someone who knows Petrosino. Unless they put their noses to the grindstone, yeah. they won't even get into the finals. No. Nowadays, no. soccer's become a whole new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it from me. Yeah, okay, I'm sure you're right, but watch the road or I get nervous. Yeah, please. Oh, look, they're making a film. Bad enough. Now we have to have a film. Ah. 
Here he is, not that one. The suitcase. Give me the suitcase. Come on, let's go. Slow down. Take it easy now, Reno. Tell me again. But when there's a cop involved, it gets messy. He's right. They get mad. Yeah. Yeah, mad as hell. And I'm not kidding. This is quite a haul. Brother was right. There's enough here to set us all up for life. Then left. All right. Calling all cars. Van car has been robbed. Four men got away in a blue Alfa Romeo, number Pavia 244204, in the direction of Via Cayo Roli. Attention, these men are armed and dangerous. Send an ambulance and doctor to Piazza Castello at once. Remember, you're only going to the gyms to take your time. Okay. You send him off like that? Alone? Yeah, who could be right? He could vanish with all that cash. He won't vanish. A policeman's been killed. <laughs> Damn clever, wouldn't you say, Inspector? I'd say it's certainly original. Well, everyone thought it was a scene for a film until they made their getaway. And it was too late. Who is it? Perilli of the escort guard. What was the amount stolen? We don't know exactly yet. 210 or 12 million lira in cash. At least that's what they reckon for the moment. It's not like you to be so imprecise. I'm surprised. Are you nervous? No. It's just that things like this are somewhat unsettling. Oh, those bastards knew what they were up to, all right. They took the right suitcase, left behind the one with all the checks in it, money orders, and stuff that's difficult to change. Besides, I'm nervous, because... Stop hesitating. There's Ravelli. Hello, Ravelli. Have you got built-in radar? Let's have a look at that. Army ammunition. Probably fired by... One man with a stand gun. mind, I'd like to be the one to handle this case. There's nothing I can do to stop you. However, let me warn you, this case belongs to the murder squad. Is that clear? Ravelli, don't make a mess of things, eh? I've got enough troubles of my own. There's little you can do, you know, without the proper authorization, even with the backing of Interpol. So what? So nothing. Just one thing to remember. You're going to need as many friends as you can get. So be nice to me. Don't you want the bullet? That man has a 
fixed idea in his head. Yeah. I'd give my right arm if I could do something to help in some way. But I'm afraid there's nothing. He'll have to work it out for himself. It's almost five years now. Life goes on. Yeah. Well, we have lots to get on with, yes, Saragny. Sir. I want all the relevant data. Number of bullets, uh -huh. distance from the body, all yeah. of it, remember? Uh, yes, Quick. sir. I'll pick you up later. All right, sir. Dr. Speroni is waiting. Uh, he was on duty this morning. Now he's waiting in the office. And the mother of the chief prosecutor, I wouldn't wonder. Uh, I'll bet. Inspector. What is it? Rabelli telephoned and dictated this. Uh, Man's a speedy operator. Uh, I must admit, he doesn't fool around. Uh, <clears throat> it's no secret. It's a list of the four companies that have reported thefts of movie uh, equipment in the past two months. It's amazing. Lavagne, oh, yes, I'm ready for anything. I'll open it. After you, sir. Surprise, darling. Our baby's here with hey, the goodies. you finally got here. Sure took your time about it. Kept the cashier waiting. I told you to get me a faster car. That little bug of mine did his best. There were no hitches, I hope. No, no hitches. Let's count it. I waited so long. You'll find I'm not out by one lira. They only send that amount out once a month to the agency. Money's worth more than any female, is it, Cranio? Idiot. There's more in the world than sex, you know. But where there's money, there's also women. <laughs> and look at it. That's so much. Two hundred and ten million or a hundred and thirty thousand. I call that pretty good, don't you? Ah, I love that smell. When Stalin decided to rob a train, he got away with three hundred rubles. It's about 600 million lira today. Did he? Yes, at Tiflis in Georgia. It happened the 12th of June, 1907. Ah. You want to talk about politics? Perhaps money bores you. Women's a better... Oh, subject. yeah. Uh, tell us about that time in Marseilles where you tried to pick up that stupid redhead down in the waterfront. Go make us huh? some coffee. <laughs> hey, you developing tuberculosis? <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> So, what do we do? We cool our heels here. Learning to be patient. Till everything blows over. I'm patient. Nobody saw us. They'll never find us. After all, the Tunisian's gonna meet us, isn't he? In which case, it's only a question of waiting. Then we'll all be rich as hell. Just a minute. Let's divide it up first. In case there's a balls up somewhere, it's each man for himself with his own cat. Don't make me sorry. I was forced to work with amateurs. You calling me an amateur? But the takings from the cinema Serbia a year ago in Ljubljana were wiped clean by me alone. Which is why I'm known as Serbia. The 212 million lira. The extra 12 will be cranial. How come his? That's a stupid thing to ask. I'm the banker, you know. If it wasn't for me, no pay at all. If I hadn't passed you the information, You'd still have trouble trying to find enough small change to pay for a coffee. Well, I do want to divide in five parts. One for Martha, too. You mean you and your mistress count for two and get 80? My name is Martha. Martha Haywood. 
And I'm worth every penny I get. Look, I uh, thought we agreed that you and her get, uh... <laughs> it's none of your stinking business. No more of your crap, do you hear? Oh, calm down now, Marciers. This is no time to start fighting amongst ourselves. If we're going to succeed, we've got to stick together. You know who goes right. We should make the division first. Then, if anything goes wrong, we grab our share and split. That includes Martha. We all get the same as each other. Ravelli? But wasn't he the inspector transferred after the murder of the Caradori brothers? Yes, that's a man. Mm, how awful that was. He was sent abroad to the Italian section of Interpol, if I'm not mistaken, but he never changed. A uh, good boy down inside. A ruthless bastard is nearer the truth. Don't you recall the Mater case? <laughs> Bet I do. I was there too. The fact is that Ravelli gets the goods, but delivers them straight to the morgue. And that gives the police a bad name. Not many of us have his instinct for smelling out rats, though. It's not a question of instinct. It's a complete lack of professional duty. A proud policeman does not wander about with long hair, dressed like some hippie at a love-in, ignoring all forms of discipline. Maybe you're right. Uh, of course, that's one way of looking at it, I'm afraid I have to admit. Uh, Ravelli is slightly eccentric, but he always manages to get his job done. I refuse to submit to that man. You better tell him, sir. I can't. Interpol has not the slightest interest in this case, which means that Ravelli has absolutely no authority. What do you mean, authority? Authority? If he decides... Do you mind explaining? <sighs> when a man sees his wife murdered in cold blood, he could... You mean he... Yes, it was in Marseilles, around five years ago, I think. Bank robbers on the run. The suspect involved in the holdup today seems to have been mixed up in the affair in uh, Marseilles, too. Poor Abelli. They've been married just under a year. I never realized. Uh, a lot you don't realize. What was that? I was just repeating what you said yourself, sir, agreeing with you. But it's funny how people change their opinions when the uh, truth comes out. <laughs> No, 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 this isn't Dracula, sweetie. Remember the title of the photo romance. Don Juan and the Three Graces. Lovely, that's it. Graceful, elegant. Closer, closer, closer. Squeeze up, squeeze up. That's it, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, beautiful. Beautiful. That's it. Now, we might use that on the cover. Now, Olga on the divan, or Nella standing, and you, Deletta, there. No, 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 change over with Olga. Take it, Gaetano. Go on. What are you waiting for? But let's have a little more enthusiasm. Mm, you look as if you're all on the way to... Jail. Uh? Good morning. Nobody gets in here without asking. You understand? Go on, get out. Out. Go on. Or I'll call the police. I'll call the police. No need. I'm here. Huh? I am the police. Oh, I don't believe you. No matter. I'm, I'm shocked. I don't know what you want. I run a respectable film studio. Oh, really? 
Respectable is hardly the word for it. This is the studio of Virgo Films? Yes, it is, indeed. Hmm. We are a legally registered company, which is run according to the law. I have all the documentation, and we are recognized by the Ministry of Entertainment. You reported the loss of a movie camera to the police, if I'm not mistaken. I most certainly did, yes. Ah, oh, you mean you came about that? That's fine. Have a look at my office. Yes, a brand new movie camera vanished. I think Berlotti took it. He vanished too. Really? He wanted to become my partner. Just think, a Neapolitan. The very idea. Well, why don't you take a seat? Thank you. I don't care for Neapolitans. They can't be trusted. All right, now let's go over the facts. Berlotti vanished, uh -huh. and you don't care for Neapolitans. Hey, boy. Per domani sarà bene che mi diciate qualcosina di più sul genitivo sassone. E sarà anche bene che ripassiate la quinta lezione, imparando almeno una decina di vocaboli. Capito? Eh sì, signora. Capito. Mm. Ci credo poco. Credo che riuscirete ad essere bestie in due lingue. Bestie poliglotte, però. Mm. Dobbiamo preparare anche il dettato, signorina. Certo. Se non ti stanchi troppo le meningi a masticare gomma. Io solo mi spero. Ah, le bagni. Those are my English students. Quite a collection. <laughs> However, you can't teach me anything. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing around these parts? Uh, nothing special. I was in the area, so I... <laughs> Is the boss in? The boss? <laughs> are you with Interpol too, Levani? Me, no. <laughs> Come in here. Thanks. You know, I've nearly finished my service. In eight months, three days, and eleven hours, I'll no longer be a policeman. I'll be retired. <laughs> retired. Ah. <sighs> I count myself lucky to have made it. But your brother-in-law will always be the boss to me. I mean, to me and all of us on the flying squad. Would you like a martini? Oh, uh, thanks. I always drink when I'm on duty. You mean you're on duty now? Well, in a way, yes. I need some advice from... Oh, I need to tell you, it's about that robbery earlier today. Your brother-in-law could help. If I'm not stepping out of line, I want to ask him couple of things. Does Thomas know more about the case than you do? Oh, I don't think so, but I want to find out. Because when we arrived on the scene, the boss, the boss, Thomas, I mean to say, was already there. <laughs> And I know how it works, you understand. And the head of the squad doesn't want me to lose sight of him. You see, if he's got a lead, I want to be on his heels. <laughs> Why don't you leave it to him and think about your pension? You'll be a civilian just eight months from now. Yeah, plus three days and 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> However, if a man can get promoted to sergeant, it's better, don't you think? Oh, yes. No? <laughs> if I stick close behind the boss, I could protect him. As well as watch. <laughs> He wouldn't want it, but he'd have my protection. Yes, I'm with you there. Yeah. A man always needs a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, and I hope... Thank you. ...you make sergeant. <laughs> Let's do it. <coughs> Why did you stop smoking if it's bad for you? How are the boys doing? Fine. As long as they don't fight each other. They're not very cute, are they? When this thing's all over, I'll be able to start breathing again. Sure you can trust a Tunisian? If he said he'd wait, we'll wait. Trust Cranny fully. I trust nobody at all. Rita's on the ball, though. He reads all those long books. A man like that really does things to a girl. You're not jealous, are you? I believe he wants to spend his share on some kind of daily rag. A political thing. In that case, it's not so hot. He should spend it all on goodies. We're gonna have fun with our share, aren't we, honey? I hope so. You're worried about that policeman, aren't you? When one of their men gets rubbed out, they get uptight about it. They get mad as hell. Do you think it's better if I leave before the others, huh? Be an idea. Get ready to disappear sudden. Got the keys to the chalet? Yeah. You know, I'm afraid. 
I can't help it, but Serbia and Ugo frighten me. Listen, girl, don't you stir from that chalet till you hear from me. And stick close to the telephone. Get it? Yeah, I get it. Oh, Micio, non vedo l'ora che finisca tutto. Io voglio investire tutti i miei soldi, ho tanti progetti. Voglio diventare una grande attrice, fare un film. Chissà quanto costa fare un film. Oh, ma non importa, perché noi ce ne andremo, ce ne andremo via tanto lontano da qui, vero? Non c'è mai niente di lontano. Dai, vestiti e rimedi i giornali della sera. But, 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 Sergeant, what's he doing? You can't arrest me. All I was doing was making a little bet. If you like a little bet, right now you can start betting how long it'll be before you get out of jail. You'll find out it's longer than you thought. Well, then. Everything's in order. Banani's got Liska, and I've got charge of this one. Yeah. I'm having a coffee, then I'll be with you. Tell me your name. It's written in the logbook. Can't you read? No. None of us can read. You fail your exams in the police force unless you're illiterate. You can go now. I, I, you go. Go. I know where you'd go like on, to get, get in. Quit filling my ass. Get in. I'll have to watch I your head. Come on, get in. This one is yours. And this one is the bullet that killed Pirelli. I want that photo. Just a second. I'll make a copy right away. But not a word about who gave it to you. You can tell him you lost it. Lots of things get lost. The important thing is to keep your head attached to your neck. You don't want to lose that. Develop and print this for me immediately, please. Is the MS-3 only 545s? Yes. There you are. You know it, don't you? Whoever murdered Pirelli shot him with one of these, eh? I'm pretty certain, yes. It was a gun like that which killed my wife. Here's a copy for you. Do you think it could be the same weapon? Well, I've been working in this lab for eight years. And I'm 90% sure, yep. Now listen, Rebelli, mm -hmm. please don't say anything to Kalor. He'll have my guts for garters. But I'm sure you're right. The bullet that killed your wife and this one... Uh... Came from the same gun. Thought so. <laughs> Look, we're famous, darling. Such headlines. <laughs> Held up by... Oh, nobody got billing. It just says bandits. Hmm. You had me worried there for a second. Like that time we did that jewelry store heist. They said we took two million when all it was was two dozen watches. Ain't that right, Russian, huh? It sure is, buddy. What does it say about us today? Hmm. Reno. Who are you phoning? A group. I gotta call them. Why? Everything must look normal, you said. What's this group? My friends. A bunch of guys I go around with. Why'd you have to call them? You take us for idiots. You make your phone call. I'm sure he won't mind. I'm supposed to go to a meeting tonight. If I don't call, they'll wonder what's happened. So I'm gonna call him now. And there'll be no questions. You must be crazy. Put that thing down. And give us all away, young jerk. Leave the telephone alone, kid. It's dangerous. I don't think your group will mind if you don't call. Hmm? Hey, you. You go near that thing again, and I'll blow a hole in you like this. Be quiet. Nobody's to use a phone or move out of here. If anybody gives me trouble, he'll be sorry. I want you to give me my share. I'm finished. He's mad as a hatter. If you need a driver, you know where to find me. 
No hard feelings. I just went out. The taxi ride's over, and the driver wants his fare. Oh, God. He's busted his head. Reno! Reno, speak to me! Please, Reno! Reno! That's it. Now nobody will talk. Because if anyone else dies around here, it'll be me that killed them. I'm scared. What'll happen to us? There'll be a change in plans. Sleep well. Good night, Andy Faith. <laughs> No doubt it's him, I'm sure. Thomas. I know it's silly, but I'm scared of what's gnawing away at you. Try to forget the past, Thomas. We must all try to forget. If he's the one who organized the bank robbery five years ago in Marseille, He's the one who organized the robbery this morning. You mean it's the same gun? Yes, it's in the same hand. And I said with a hearse and today it was a truck. This guy is a film unit on location. Don't you see it was the same mine? Thomas, so long ago. And every night since, you've sat staring at that photograph there. Seems it only happened yesterday. I must catch him. Yes. You'll never get any sleep till then. It's not gonna be easy. Andrea needs you. He needs a father. I know. At least in you, he has a mother, Faith. I love him as if he were my own son. Uh, I'm afraid I take too much advantage of you. How have things been since you passed your exams and set up on your own? Oh, fine, really. No problems. Mornings, I work in the farriers, come home and teach my students. So I hardly spend anything. Oh, I nearly forgot. Lavanya was here today. What did he want? He didn't say much, but I got the impression he's had orders to follow you around. You need someone to keep an eye on you. Hmm. Yes? It's Lavanya. In an apartment in, uh, 10 Via Monserrata, there's some suspicious activity. Have a snoop around. I'll join you later with Kahlo. Best of luck. I gotta go out. Who was it? A friend. Un amigo.
Mind if I join you? Give me that stinking stuff. Ni quién cuesta esta casa. Ho detto di chi cazzo è questa casa? Ma che ti frega? Mia, tua, nostra, del popolo. Ho capito. E senti un po', l'affitto lo paghiamo in cooperativa o c'è qualche stronzone che paga per noi? Eh? Paga quel fascista di mio padre. Ah, allora siamo a posto. Vuoi una aspirata? Eh, 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 eh. Tra la droga indiana e la droga scozzese preferisco questa, così non ho grane con la legge. Ma che ti frega della legge? Invece mi frega sì. Hai capito che vigliacco che sono? E questo chi è? Questo è il James Bond dei poveri. Fratelli, non vi sembra di sentire delle sirene? Fichissimo, le sento, le sento, è vero. Ed è vero sì, perché le sento anch'io. E quando le sento io, vuol dire che sono cazzi amari, perché sono sirene crudelissime che stanno venendo proprio qua. Ma noi? Eh, ma voi è meglio che lasciate stare, ragazzi. Lasciate stare, tanto non sono venuto per voi. Non mi interessate. Datemi tutta quella robaccia puzzolente. Ok. Be good now. Bravelli, you here? Who are all these? These people are young scientists, Inspector. I did not come here to play the fool, you hear? Don't shout, Inspector. You'll wake the neighbors. Now, these students are attempting to show society that uh, alcohol is bad for you. And they've proved it. They're out like lights, uh, most of them. You're very good health, Inspector. Now, you got it straight. Yes. Repeat it. Well, I hire myself a car, and then I go up to the chalet. Where you do nothing. Where I do nothing. Yeah, Martha, Martha Haywood, just don't forget that it's also our money in there. We'll be joining you in a couple of days, okay? Mm -hmm. Ciao. Ciao, pussycat. Wait a sec. Go on. Now we must get back that bloody note you left at Reno's house. Mad. How was that another way things would go? I could never find him in, so I left a note. I'm sorry. Where'd you put the note? I wrote it on the back of uh, a check from a restaurant, a Grappolo d'Oro. I uh, told him to meet me at the pool room, that we needed a car, that we had to have it, or we couldn't have done the job. How are we going to find that note now? His mother will have it. Anything can be bought. Almost. That's what I was saying. Come on, Friars. Time to get dressed. <laughs> Papa, do you know where Andy Faith is taking me today? Let's see. Let me guess. Uh, the zoo. The zoo? At my age? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be indiscreet. I thought we'd see one of those films of sex and violence. Come on, Andrea, we'll be late. Oh. Ciao, Papa. Ciao, Andrea. Ciao. Thomas. What? Shall I expect you for lunch? I'm not sure. I'll call you. Be careful. Why? Oh, you know. And call as often as possible. Otherwise, mm. I get worried. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Hi there, boss. What are you doing here? Oh, I decided it was time I went back to school. <laughs> no, not really. The inspector said I should keep an eye on you, so who am I to disobey orders? Uh -huh. Even put a card at my disposal to tell you in. 
Well, save a little taxpayer's gas, Levanyi. Come with me. All right, I don't mind. Get in. Okay. Uh, I'm told you Interpol fellas take fantastic trips to places like Los Angeles and Hong Kong. Is that true? No. Listen, today's Thursday. Yeah. So there's racing. Uh, yeah. Shall we go? Leonardo. Uh -huh. <laughs> what if the inspector sees red? No, oh, no, it's his baby, this robbery. I don't care if he sees green. I'll present him with the balls of Mario Berlotti, known as Cranio. Who's he? If I'm not mistaken, he pinched the camera they mounted on the truck for the job. He used to work at the bank. I do. I should damn well think so. Leonardi! Look who's here! Fancy seeing you! You working in Italy again, huh? Who was that easy rider? On that Suzuki? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Leonardi was the great driver before his accident, you know. That's all past history now. Now I go straight all the way. I'm a salesman. He knows where I work. Yeah, for a beer company. Listen. Who's the best driver on the market these days? can't tell you. I haven't got a clue. I'm out of all that now. Tell me, is it true your wife still tramps the same old street? If the vice squad puts her in the cooler for a couple of months, what'll you do for a living, eh? With that game leg, you'll find things a bit difficult. What do you want from me? I'll give you a few names. And we'll see if you can hit the jackpot. How about it? May I? Hey, keep it slow, eh? Don't give me all the names at once. Now, let's see if I can recall. Toseli, Marino. No, Marino's too old now. <laughs> Gian Antoni, Foliana, Mastro Stefano. Foliana, Mastro Stefano. I never heard of those. Gian Antoni, yeah. He's a small time crook, that's all. You know, I'm sure these petty thieves had nothing to do with that raid. That was done by out-of-towners, foreigners. How about the newer fellas? <laughs> I don't know any. You know, Leonardi, I hate to tell you, I'm beginning to lose my patience. And if in the next two minutes you haven't pulled a name out of the hat, see this? I'm going to use it to call Gervasi of the Vice Squad. He owes his position there to me. And you'll slap your wife inside a night for six months, if I say so. Have a smoke. Start talking. There, there are two. No, I think three. One's named Zorro. Another is Dario Costa Rosa. And the third is known as the Philosopher. I don't know his real name. The philosopher. He isn't by chance a friend of a certain uh, Berlotti, whose nickname's Cranio. Could be. Get that, Dr. Watson? Could be. <laughs> yep, damn certain. Excuse me, Signora. Are you the mother of Reno McKelly? 
<laughs> yes. What is it? I'd like a word with you. May I come up? Good morning. Good morning. You know my son? Yes, I do. He used to come to me for confession quite often, and... What is it? The question is rather a delicate one. Well, you'd better come in here. Is this Reno's room? Yes, it is. First, I'd like to know if anyone else has been here looking for Reno recently. The police, perhaps. No, not in a long while. The last was someone from the political branch. But that was six months ago. You remember when that foreign president made a state visit? I remember. Politics, politics. Uh, where is your son now? Is he in town? He told me he was going to spend a few days in Florence. You know how young people are. He has a girlfriend there. Ah, uh, yes. I expect I'll be hearing about it. Listen, senora, what I wanted to tell you is... You do well to hide all his things. All this political paraphernalia. Why, what's wrong? What's happened to my boy? After that last demonstration at the university, he promised me that... Nothing is wrong, senora. I just don't want it to be. But it's better never to leave anything incriminating lying around. Take my advice. Hope he found that bloody note. Ah, here he is. If he hasn't got it, we're screwed. You see, I was right, Valeria. I may have a wooden leg, but not a wooden... My God, look at all this money. How much do you think it is? It must be at least... Yeah, at least. I think it's around about five million lira. Five million. And this is only an appetizer. Put the old brain to work and we'll get the whole meal. But what about Reno? Have I ever screwed Reno out of anything? No. So don't get old. And who got him out of that mess when he left a bomb at that embassy? But what's he done now? Nothing. He just drove a car for some chumps. I never expected to see the Marseillaise again. Cerevelli thinks he's smart, eh? Well, I'm way ahead of him. Finders keepers, I say. But that sounds dangerous. My dear, one has to take risks. I got an idea this morning. After I had a couple of words with two men who think I'm an idiot. Five million. Huh, an appetizer. Just take it from me. Hello, Miss Leonardi. I want to speak to Berto. Nothing will happen to your son. It's those others that are going to spit blood over this. Berto here. Oh, Leonardi. Long time since we saw each other. No, at the moment, there's nothing cooking here. Feel like making a little money? Money? You just mentioned the thing I love best. Tell me all. Yeah. Yeah. Count on me, kid. Where have I got to be to collect this package? Yeah. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah, I will. I never heard such an idiotic thing. Now what's eating you? You know, giving all that dough to Reno's mom. If she spends it, I'll ask her where it came from. No need to worry, Serbia. They'll never be able to trace it. Besides, we've got more to divide up now. It's no fault of ours that he fell down and bashed his head in. Look out, the road's black. Everyone stay cool. Mm. 
Don't you say a word now. Okay. Let the boss talk. Okay. May I see your documents? Thank you. Morning, sir. If you don't mind, I'd like to see your documents. Was is das? Uh, never mind, Your Eminence. Uh, you may go. Auf Wiedersehen. The protection of the Holy Roman Church never fails. It's amazing. Because every Catholic has a guilty conscience. Lucky we didn't meet a Jewish policeman. The first 60 kilometers are free of charge. After that, you have to pay 45 lire a kilometer. It's fully insured, so there's nothing to worry about. Thank you. I'll try not to spend too much. <laughs> Take care. The clutch is a little stiff. Oh, I get a clutch. How lovely. Bon voyage, young lady. Uh, thanks. Oh, Mr. Berto, she's all yours now. What a lovely young creature. <laughs> a lovely young creature indeed. Some man ought to be keeping an eye on that girl. Here, keep the change. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How's it going? Anything new yet? Nothing old, nothing new. We're checking all cars leaving the city, but all we catch is small fry. The truth is, I'm afraid we really don't know which way to turn. Is Ravelli still sticking his nose into the affair? Yes, he is, but I've got Lavagna tailing him. What I want to know is what he's doing here. He's visiting his son. Besides, Interpol sent him down to check on the smuggling of foreign currency. So we couldn't get rid of him if we wanted to. Excuse me. Inspector Collar? Tell me. Don't budge. I'll be right over. What's going on? Goodbye. He'll be here in ten minutes, Thomas. Right. Now, according to you, they read the papers. And the boy got carried away. He fell down the fit and cracked his skull. The rest of them got scared and got the hell out fast. Is that the story, Leonardi? No. No, look, sir. That girl, Martha, was a friend. I knew this apartment was hers. See, I only wanted to talk to her because I thought I could help her. Bringing together Reno and Bellotti, that one everybody calls Cranio. I think I could bring you together with an armed robbery and two corpses. <coughs> Leonardo D. Who is the Marseillaise? I don't know. I don't know. He could be Martha's boyfriend. Find him out to see a lawyer. <laughs> Lavagne. He wants a lawyer. The boy's no fool. It's within his rights. Sure. Sure, it's within his rights. But first, he's got to play a little ball. Give and take. Hmm? Leonardi. You wouldn't play the fool with me, would you? You give and you get. Go on, talk. Who is the Marseillaise? Tell me or your lawyer will find you in the hospital. I'm waiting. Talk and I'll get your lawyer. Even if you beat me to death. To me, it's just... To me, it's just a... Just a name, that's all. Don't be long. Mm 
money. Yeah, if I could go, Oswald. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm... Son of a bitch. Don't anybody make a move or I'll blow you all to hell. Oh! Understand? Hurry, hurry. I'm pressing. Get going. That's it. Go on, go. Didn't you take off that bracelet before? It makes you look like a faggot anyway. Cool. They never thought. Time you started thinking, kid. Shut up and drive, can't you? Better take the next turn. I always wanted one like that. Yeah, me too. Trouble is, nowadays, there. They're so light. The whole thing's aluminum. What the hell are you talking about? That bicycle, of course. Look at the framework. Hmm. I prefer bigger wheels. Calling all squad cars on the Autostrada. Watch out for a black Mercedes with Vatican plates and four men aboard. Dangerous armed criminals. If sighted, attempt to get them off the highway into a secondary road before closing in. Open fire only in case of extreme necessity. Wait for the barrier. Ram it! Go on! Can't you step on it? Hurry! I may have a helicopter I can let you have, but you're putting me on the spot. I really need permission from a higher authority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you the youngest officer on the aerial highway patrol? You know damn well. I also know that you were made an officer because of your initiative in the, uh... Let's see, what was it? Uh, the case of... Uh, all right, all right, I get it. But he's going to give Colonel Bianchi a heart attack. Is that bad? You'd make Captain just that much quicker. You go too far. Look out! Try to stop with this. No, please. Don't shoot, please. I beg you not to. Take this and see if you can protect our all. We want to live to spend it. <laughs> no, my dear. Don't shoot. No, no. That'll give us time to get away. You saved us! <laughs>
Look, what's wrong? Uh, Serbia. He's been shot. Yeah, another client for the Undertaker. Yeah. You mean dead? Yeah, you'll be getting a little more loot. Slow down now, Ugo. What can we do? Stop the car when it's stopped now! Stop being hysterical! The head took can! Man, what rotten luck! You don't give up for a second, do you? Do you? Bastards really got it in for us. I'm getting you. We still haven't caught up with the Mercedes, though. It's passing through a build-up area at the moment in the town of Borgarese, heading east on Highway 62. That's good. So I'll be seeing them soon. I'm sticking with them all the way so they can't disappear. They're leaving the town now. Keep up the good work. The radio, keep it open.
Wait here, will you? Another dead duck. Uh, that's two of them. We won't get much out of him. We better wait for the squad car. But if we wait, they'll get away. I don't care. There's only one I'm interested in. And I want him alive. If you do what I tell you, you'll be all right. Uh, you never know what you meet in a tunnel. Uh, where are we? Uh, yes, where we are. It's the main road. Main road to a bigger. Uh, you live around here? Yes. Uh, I'm uh, glad. Uh, in that case, home you go. Uh, Take your time, there's no point in speeding. Everything seems to have gone wrong. This town ain't Should have been an easy job. It's a mess. Granule, I've had enough of that. Jeez. I feel like something to eat. You got any food in the house? Away, I don't think you can do anything. Go, go, go. What the hell is it? I was only trying to get doing? you back. Nothing you can do. Please, don't. What did you do? She was trying to be clever, oh, switching no. on and off the light in the kitchen like she was trying to signal oh, someone. No, the lamp in the kitchen always does that. There's something wrong with it. I promise you. Listen, I don't like people who fool me. Papa. No! Oh. Hold still. Now, you wouldn't want anything to happen to your little girl, would you? Loving Papa. No! Please go! I'll do whatever you say, but leave her alone! Hold still, I say. <laughs> My darling, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Now, things happen. Up to now. I want you to promise you won't do anything silly again. I'll do whatever you say. I beg you, sir, don't hurt my little girl. It's all I ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it. Come on, cow! They're coming, move! That's better. That's what I like to hear. Oh, God, what's going to happen to us? But it's nothing, Thomas. Just a simple case of toothache. He doesn't even have a temperature. Yes, he's had a pill already. Don't worry, he's playing. It's not the boy I'm worried about, Thomas. He'll be all right. Is Lavanya there too? Thomas, don't take any risks. Promise to think of Andrea. Thomas, please take care. Lani. What do you want? Nothing. Isn't it better that we wait for the inspector? Do you want that promotion or don't you? Well, yes. Come on. Oh, all right.
Good morning. Isn't Senior Antonio there? Good morning. It's a little family gathering. Drawing up a contract with a notary. I'm glad. So he's finally decided to sell his land, has he? I always said he'd do well to sell it before it was requisitioned by the electricity board. <laughs> Very smart of him. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm here to deliver this parcel of seeds. He's a champion grapefruit grower. He's an expert at grapefruit. Uh, Very bright. Everybody wants it for breakfast now. <laughs> I'll tell you something. When they lay me out, there's going to be two things. Coca-Cola and grapefruit that I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. You'd rather get drunk. Sure. <laughs> Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> I never thought we'd end up like this. Should have been a walkover, I tell you, a walkover. None of you seem to care. There are three dead. You're a pain in the ass, jeez. Why don't you go start? Ciao, Gigi. That was the notary I'd taken oath. Where are you going? I'm just going to take a look around outside. Go on. You're going to take a car tonight. Hey! <laughs> Hello. I'm going to go take a crap, all right? But don't be too long. Yes, Martha, everything's OK. Now listen. Join you at the chalet before dark. Don't worry. Only two of the others made it. Really? And they don't suspect a thing. It'll be easy. No, 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 Stay where you are. Don't move. Marseillais! What the hell are you doing? He made a run for it, the cowardly idiot.
Ah, they're fine. So, tomorrow morning you depart. That's good. But I want half my money first. The other half later. Okay. How many are you? Man and a woman. When do I get the deposit? Tomorrow morning. But I thought there'd be several of you. There would have been. There was an accident. Ah. On the road. Ah. The traffic's very dangerous on the roads. It's better by sea. Better not to have accidents anywhere. See ya. Strong. I like my coffee strong. La ucciso. Chi? El Marsigliese. Chissà dove sta quello di mortacci sua. Senti, vie qua. E poi, che te frega te del Marsigliese? E cerca di essere carina. Mamma! Where are you going? Come back here, or I'll kill you! No. Oh, oh, darling, what have they done to you? It's all right. It's all over now. Are you all right? This is from that same gun. He can't be far away. He's near. You got a phone? Over there. Be here soon. Yes, of course he'll get here. But the minute he does, it'll be boom. Given the time. From the Mizar, Tunis. Tunis, eh? I see. Tell me something, though. What's a foreign boat like that doing way up here? She came up river from sea with a load and docked here for repairs. What kind of repairs? The radio. Now they're waiting for spare parts. Commander, have you noticed anything strange? No. Why? Just wondered. How many men are there on board? Two. So as far as you know, it's all perfectly normal. The same as any other boat. No, really. There's nothing suspect about it. Many foreign vessels come up river away from tides and squalls. In fact, it's the second time the Mizar has been up here. After all, this is a quiet little port. I don't think it will be much longer.
What's this for? <laughs> Just for fun, I'm getting ready. Making a mistake, you can take off your party dress. No one's gonna ask you out for dinner. No, no, you're wrong. It's always a party, wherever I go. <laughs> Am I to your taste? Yeah, no problem there. In fact, if you weren't the, the Marseillaise girl, I'm not scared of anyone, least of all your Marseillaise. and get the bag. Start engines are coming now.
Marseillaise. It's over at last. But you can't shoot. That's where you're mistaken. I'm not a policeman now. You wouldn't fire that. <laughs> 